spring in April when it had been raining and there hadn't been any sun for a few months. And um, like I said, I just got like maybe a thousand phone calls that day. Maybe not a thousand, but like a hundred phone calls, like from weird people from NBC News, like some guy named Scooter. From I'm like, who is this? I don't want to talk to anybody like that. What do I have to do with this? You know, I mean, I don't know. I mean, like I said, Tracy and I were like talking and stuff. And then I guess what happened was the guy that I was dating at the time, it was like late at night. Like he got off at midnight that night. And so we went and we got all these white lilies and we took them down to the house and we put this candle and all these flowers out there like next to the place where he committed suicide. Because at that point in the evening, like people had realized it was him, you know, like during the day there was like a question as to who it was up until like mid afternoon and then they found out it was like really him. I think now, yes, I think their music will stand the test of time, and um, I still love it 10 years later, and a lot of the other bands from that time I, I never listen to anymore. Um, I think that in Seattle, he's become part of the essence of the place. He's almost like one of our icons. He's like what people think about when they think about Seattle. And uh, Coffee, uh, Microsoft, and Kurt Cobain, 